maybe 10 or 15 percent of the families who lived there actually got exposed to what we now call the three principles. And yet those families were enough to um, have a ripple effect throughout the rest of the housing project and um, people who were abusing their kids stopped abusing their kids. People who were alcoholics stopped being al alcoholics, sometimes without even going through treatment. Um, there were uh, crack addicts there who ended up seeing something new about themselves who then went into treatment for crack addiction. Um, teenage pregnancy rate dropped considerably. The delinquency rate dropped considerably. Uh, kids who weren't going to school were now going to school. Uh, kids who were selling drugs on the streets ended up going to college. I mean, it was just a, an a, amazing stuff happened there. And what was most astounding about it was the fact that Roger was using an approach that um, seemed backwards to everybody. You know, everybody, everybody in the prevention field was operating from the outside in saying, you know, here are these deplorable conditions. We have to fix the conditions first. And, you know, we have to create um, healthy family environments. And that will result in people um, feeling better about themselves. And, and then they'll gain a sense of well-being from that. Well, Roger was doing it completely backwards from that. He was saying, we, we need to start from the inside out. We need to start with the premise that everybody has this health and well-being inside them already. It's just dying to come out. But the only thing covering it up is one's thinking. So it's kind of like the, uh, the clouds around the sun. You know, the sun's still there, but you can't see it when there's a snowstorm out like it's happening right here now. And, um, you know, when people realize that they have this health inside of them and that it's only their thinking that can be getting in its way, then they in turn feel better about themselves automatically when they see what's really going on, they then work to make their families better places to be and healthier places to be. And then when a um, core group of people um, in a community like Modelo all catch on to this, then they work to change the, the conditions, the horrible conditions in that community. So that's prevention from the inside out. And um, to, to, to work in that direction changes everything. I was one of those people that was always working from the outside in. When I started working from the inside out myself, I was so much more effective. I couldn't believe how much more effective I was. And, and the changes that, that uh, Roger Mills got in Modelo were head and shoulders above anything that I had ever seen in prevention before. So I was, I was hooked because, um, you know, when, when you see results, uh, and, and I was a very, very results-oriented person in prevention. Like I had to know that something worked before I um, bought into it. When you see results like that, you just can't help it. And, and we, you know, when I started finding that I was, uh, not only was my life, had my life changed, but uh, people who I was working with were really improving their lives a lot faster and a lot more solidly than before, I mean, I would have been a fool to keep going in the outside in direction, knowing that. But a very interesting thing happened. I figured the world of prevention would want to know about this. <laughs> um, they would get really excited about this. 
So I started talking to the prevention field about it, and um, there were some people who got very excited about it, but the field itself um, was pretty much not interested. And I, and I think, I don't really know, but I think the reason that they weren't interested is because it's such a new paradigm. And they all were trained in the old paradigm. And it's very difficult to explain the new paradigm because it's very spiritual. Um, I think there was a real disconnect. And, you know, everybody wants to know, how do you do it? And, you know, we talk about what it's not in the, in the doing, it's in the understanding. People have to see it for themselves first. They have to gain a sense of, um, well, they have to see their own, they have to see how it helps their own lives. And when they see how it helps their own lives, then they have something to share with others. And um, people weren't used to looking at themselves to um, be able to help other people.